Welcome to another Education Library Research Tutorial. In this video, I'll cover advanced strategies for searching in UBC Library search engine Summon, including phrase searching, truncation, and Boolean operators, which you can use to make your searching more effective. If you watched our first UBC Library searching video, you'll know how to use the General tab to search with Summon, and you'll know about the filters on the results page that you can use to limit your search results. In this video, I'm going to perform another search in Summon to find resources to help me answer my research question. But this time, I'm going to use the Advanced Search option. You'll notice that there are a lot of options on this page. I won't go over all of them in depth, but you may want to pause the video here to take a look at the different options and familiarize yourself with the Advanced Search page. Now before I start adding my keywords, let's go over some tips that you can use to create your search strategy. First, you may remember from the Introduction to Searching video that quotation marks can be a powerful tool for phrase searching in almost any database, including when you search in Summon. You should use quotation marks when searching for a multi-word phrase in order to ensure that you only get search results in which those words appear together. For instance, if I were to search with the keywords digital literacy and I didn't use quotation marks, I would get results that have the word digital and the word literacy, but they wouldn't necessarily appear in the result together. Using the quotation marks means that I'll get results in which those words are treated as a phrase. Another symbol that will come in handy when you're searching in Summon is the asterisk. The asterisk is used to perform a search technique called truncation, which is helpful when your keywords have possible variations, like the possibility of pluralizing your term. For instance, if I were searching for results related to elementary students, I would type elementary student with an asterisk at the end, and this would return results for both elementary student and elementary students. Back on the advanced search page, you'll notice that unlike the basic search option, the advanced search function has multiple rows, as well as the option to add more if you have more than three search terms. Using multiple rows is one way to incorporate multiple keywords together in a single search through the use of Boolean operators. Which brings us to the third tip for advanced searching. Boolean operators is a fancy term given to words that you can use to combine your search terms, and you'll find them here at the end of each row. If you use AND, you'll only get results that have all of the keywords you've entered. For instance, searching for digital literacy and elementary student will return results with both of those search terms. You can use OR to add synonyms or variant spellings for your search term, and you'll get any results that have at least one of the keywords you've specified, which can increase your chances of finding relevant results. For instance, I could search digital literacy or technological literacy. You also have the option to use the third Boolean operator, NOT, to exclude search results that contain a specific term. For instance, if I wanted to find information to answer my research question, I may decide to use NOT High School. Whichever Boolean operator you are using, just remember to type the term in all caps, or use the drop-down arrow at the end of the row to select the right one. So now I'm ready to perform my search, and keeping in mind the three strategies I just outlined, I filled out my search rows in this way. Keep in mind that this is just one way that I can use those strategies to search. You may want to try putting keywords together a few different ways to see if you get different results each time. You'll see after the rows that there are a few ways to limit your search results. For instance, you can limit results by language, or to those results that are scholarly or peer-reviewed, and you can also exclude certain types of materials from your results. For instance, I'm going to remove book reviews from my search results. And now I'm ready to search. At this point, I can go through my results and save the ones that I want to use. I can also adjust the filters, or I can return to the advanced search page to change my keywords at any point. Now you should be ready to create an effective search strategy for finding research materials in Summon. If you have any questions or want to learn more about advanced searching, please reach out to the education librarians.